In an effort to better understand the issues that tribal villages in India face, we at Healing Train sent a team to spend several days in the rural mountainous areas of East and West Godavari. Though tribal villages are in the minority population of India, they lack in the majority of basic resources and it makes it even more difficult to reach out to them given that they are located in interior pockets of difficult terrains. The tribal population in India, although a small minority, represents an enormous diversity of groups. They vary in language, linguistic traits, ecological settings in which they live, physical features, size of the population, ways of making a livelihood, level of development, and social stratification. These tribal groups are spread throughout the entire country of India, and their geographical distribution varies greatly. There are almost 145,000 villages in India that fall under the category of tribal. A staggering 75% of tribal villages in India lack access to health care and around 51% don't have access to any public distribution system. And 52% are not covered by piped water. With no access to the basic necessities of life, they fall into a section of society that desperately needs to be reached. When our team visited a few tribal villages around East and West Godavari, we found it to be an incredible experience. These tribal people live in small groups, in houses that were built from mud and stone along mostly unpaved dirt and stone roads. Without easy access to markets and other resources, we found that they lived primarily off the produce of their small lands. There was only one elementary school for a group of small adjoining villages, and there was only one basic health clinic per village. While a proper hospital suited to treat serious ailments was miles away. In order for children to study beyond elementary, they had to stay in government hostels attached to schools which were down in the foothills away from their tribes. These facilities are of the most basic level, and the hygiene is poorly maintained. We had the privilege of visiting five such schools that catered to adolescent girls and were able to speak about a topic that had not been adequately presented to them. The Indian Council for Medical Research's report stated that only 38% of menstruating girls in India spoke to their mothers about menstruation. Many mothers were themselves unaware of what menstruation was how it was to be explained to a teenager, and what practices could be considered as menstrual hygiene management. Additionally, a survey by the Ministry of Education found that 63% of schools and villages and teachers never discussed menstruation and how to deal with it in a healthy manner. That is why we reach out to schools to break this silence and enable girls to know how to take care of themselves during menstruation. It is estimated that only 12 to 18 percent of women and girls in India use disposable sanitary pads. The National Family Health Survey stated that 62 percent of girls and women use homemade cloth and their hygiene becomes questionable because poor menstrual hygiene management can lead to various infections and disease. Healing Train has found the use of reusable sanitary pads to be a smart solution that is both eco-friendly and hygienic when accompanied by proper education on how to hygienically maintain and care for pads. Our observation prior to conducting our Sarekshya project was that girls thought the topic of menstruation was taboo and not to be talked about. They were embarrassed and had no knowledge of the menstrual cycle. Many of them have little to no resources to acquire disposable pads, as many families do not view sanitary pads as something to spend money on. This furthers the cycle of believing that this is a taboo subject and shouldn't be addressed. We could instantly relate to these girls as they were willing and received all the information we had prepared for them.
వాళ్ళని కూడా సేవ చేసినట్టు ఉంటుందండి మా స్కూల్కి వచ్చినందుకు కూడా చాలా సంతోషంగా ఉందండి ఎల్లప్పుడూ కూడా మీరు అంటే ఇలాంటి ఐడియాస్ వస్తే మా స్కూల్కి ముందు రావాలని కోరుకుంటున్నామండి ఇంతటి ముగిస్తున్నాను To our surprise, most of them would use homemade cloth pads made from an old sari or house cloth, and when their parents could afford disposable pads, they would receive them. We explained to them how reusable sanitary pads were a smart switch and would also benefit them both personally and environmentally. This smart solution was taken quite well. After the sessions with the girls, we noticed that they seemed ready and willing to begin using reusable sanitary pads. This information is eye-opening for them, and it is the beginning of breaking stigma surrounding periods when girls learn that this is a natural and biological process. You are strong. You are strong. You are innocent. You are innocent. God loves you so much. The aim of our Sarakcha project is to break the silence, stigma and shame associated with menstruation. We believe in strengthening this generation of girls by giving them tools to have a healthy menstrual cycle and a dignity while they bleed. This project addresses both the physical need for a proper hygiene and psychological need for a clear understanding about menstruation as a good and natural process. Healing Chain Foundation is committed to providing better healthcare resources and education in needy areas such as these tribal villages and other rural parts of India. We have a vision to reach many more girls in this next 2020 with our Sarekshya project and to see the next generation empowered with tools to live healthy and strong lives.